Hey everyone, it is Char from Char's Fascination, and I will let you know that I will be uploading another part of how I cut this out. No, I still haven't received my pattern. Not heard about that at all. Make made my own pattern. Not their pattern, my pattern. Okay, so moving along with this because we're gonna have no hard feelings no hard feelings at all i did use that yellow gingham this is the neckline here now as you all know i will end up folding that back and still have enough for the shoulder and of course i do have the armpit area right here and um so I already have my pieces cut out, obvious. Um, and this is the back. And what did I use to make my pattern? Well, if you guys have been following long enough, you know that I dismantled a ripped leather jacket because I had this huge rip in the armpit and I couldn't salvage that you know like that big rip I couldn't patch it um because that's kind of hard to do with the leather jacket so I just simply took the leather coat and took it apart this is the back which is obvious um and this is the front left panel and then I what I did was I simply folded this part back. That way you get that V coming towards the front. And I did that on both the left and the right. So this is totally my take on that yellow dress since I haven't received a pattern. Now I have enough gingham fabric right here for the skirting. And yes, I do have my straight pins right here because I'm about to pin this together. Um, you know, we have left and right panels for the front. And where did this penny come from? Oh my gosh. It reminded me to do a penny stitch. Now there's this old stitch called a penny stitch. And I can't see what year this penny is from, but I don't know. I have no idea. I usually watch the crazy Russian hacker. <laughs> He's hilarious. Dress is hilarious. And he always collects like coins and stuff of value. And, you know... He's smart for doing that. He and his wife are very smart for doing that because coins end up with a value later on down the road. Now, like I said, this is the back. Or maybe I didn't say that, but this is the back. Now, what I was going to do, I just cut these out in the back bodice cor corner, eh, quarters, but I decided, you know what? Let's not, because it looks nice the way it is. I know it looks wrinkled. It's pre-washed. <clears throat> um, so I had realized a flu boo that I did, and it's a good thing. Because I, while I was doing my video for Instagram, I, like, didn't cut the armpit holes or the front panels. I'm like, something's missing here. Like, oh, crud, armpit. <laughs> so if that ever happens to you hey it's all right it's all right well see on this part i'll end up folding this back so that you won't see that um because we need to match up right here before we start pinning and what i'm going to do before i even put this to a machine now, I was giving the shoulder a two inch seam allowance, which that was just from cutting. That was just from cutting. So, uh, yeah. I am going to. I had that up there, but let's just move this over here. Um, uh, I can't wait for my glasses to come in this week. Uh, 
be lovely. And then watch. After I'm done sewing this, they'll end up, you know, after the 20th, they'll end up sending out the darn pattern. <laughs> because they will have reprinted that and have that back in stock. And then it'll be too late. Because I will have already made a yellow dress. Now, Fabric Mart, I am making my promise to you. Oh, you know what I just noticed? <laughs> I'm using the yellow and the green. Um, and there's yellow and green in this. I'm using my yellow and green pins. <laughs> That's kind of funny. Um, so let's, let, you know, continue to let specific things just go under the bridge. Okay? We're just going to let that roll under the bridge and keep on going with positivity. Okay? I mean... I'm still disappointed, but we'll just let that go under the bridge. So, when I have it like this, obviously when I stay stitch it, it's going to end up looking something like that. That may not be completely even, but you know, we can change that and then make it even. And that's why I have this cut a certain way. Um so that that can absolutely be moved. I like to try to match it up as much as possible if I can so that everything looks the way it should, should match, should match on both sides. I mean, if we can't get it to match up on both sides, really, I'm not, I'm not that worried about it. Because, you know, I gave myself that two inch seam allowance for a purpose. For an absolute purpose. So, if we really want to be prevalent about matching this up, all matchy matchy, we can just scooch that over a little bit. And then it's matched up. Because I am going to fold this back here along the armpit. And then that'll match up even more. So let's go ahead and pin that. As all of you know here on um, my laptop, I don't have a pause button. I'm in menopause, but I have no pause button. <laughs> a life humor joke. There you go. Menopause, but no pause button. Ah. <laughs> uh can just laugh about things. I mean, you know, it seems kind of odd that today is Sunday and um, spring has already sprung on our clocks. And um, you wake up in the morning and you see like it's what time? And then, oh, really? Because I thought I went to bed earlier than that. And you're like realizing like, eh, that's right. Spring your clock forward was last night. Uh, it was. It was last night. And again, I ended up using the green and yellow. I'm not worried about that. Um, so now we have one shoulder pinned together again. And let's see how much that matches up. Oh, pretty good pretty darn good um so like i said you know i'm just trying to make sure that this matches up now i'm actually going to count this as being a mock-up for a, a yellow dress or a dress in just whatever um so yeah i'm really not that worried about it uh like i said you know i promise the lovely ladies at Fabric Mart that I would show my my stuff, mention them and please shop with them online they're awesome even if they run out of fabric or run low on a fabric I'll tell you what, they call you up and let you know like hey da da da, is this this person uh yeah and um they're very they're very pleasant, very pleasant people. I've not had a bad experience with Fabric Mart. 
ever. I know some people say like, oh, I don't know, it's just this little star and da da da. Well, you know what though? Sometimes these mom and pop places are the best places you can shop. I love mom and pop places. I really do. Like, they're a staple of America. These mom and pop places. They're an absolute American staple. Run by people that really care um, about their business and about who they cater their business to. Um, so always think about that when you go shopping at some mom and pop place. They are a staple in uh, keeping America running by made in America, sold in America, even though they have fabrics from other countries. Um, it's what keeps American jobs going. That's, that's my point there. It's what keeps the job source going. Like a lot of times they'll hire college students because these kids have bills to pay and, you know, they're learning and they're on their own. And uh, maybe some of them don't feel that, like they need to live off mom and pop's pocket and they went out and got a job. Uh, so that's always a thought. And yes, I do have those other needles handy in case I need them. Because <laughs> I'm like lately uh, thinking, am I running low on needles? No, not actually. Um, I have a lot of these pins here. A lot of these straight pins in my corset waiting for me to start hand stitching that. And I've just... Kind of put that off, kind of put it off, and kind of put it off, but I will get to it. But for now, we get to this, and we get to getting this together. That's right, we get to getting, getting this together. Such it should be. And always remember, like... I had to be on the floor to cut this because I don't have a cutting table yet. That's a work in progress. It's a work in progress. I need to have a cutting table. I just don't have one. Um, and that's all that is. I just don't have one. But I'm not letting that hinder. You know, I, I should put it this way. <laughs> I'm not letting my disability hinder how much I can do. Now, if I let it do that, I'm letting my disability control my life when I should be controlling my life and overriding my disability like a lot of people do. Like, I will not let that hinder my boundaries of what I can do in my life. Now, if you look at this, this is the side that I just pinned together. Now, that's going to come together nice. It's not going to be like perfect match, but it's going to match close enough. And so when I go to sew this together, I will, like I said, you know, hand stitch. And um, that's going to be no problem because I'm just going to do a simple stay stitch across. And then, where's my water? Oh, I need my water. It's around here somewhere. Oh, it's right here. Oh, and don't forget when you're sewing. I always give props to Sun City Soaps and Candles. Um, because you know when we're sewing. Uh, our hands tend to get a little dry, a little chapped. And, um... Go to Sin City Soaps and Candles, and I'll leave a link. Like I did last time. Oh my gosh, since I figured that out, I'm like, woohoo, yay! <laughs> so I will do that again, and I will also 
link. Hopefully I can do this. Um, fabric Mart. They're a great store. You know, I'm going to see about going there in May. Oh, I love this stuff. This is their uh, whipped body butter, but they come in different sizes. So if you've watched my channel long enough, you know that like once or twice a month I have Simply Good Mail. And um, I will soon have other goodies coming along. Uh, these trays over here... Um, I'll just turn this. I have some trays right here that I'm working on. As you can see, that one right there in particular. That one right there in particular. Um, I have blinged up myself. <laughs> I've been inspired by another channel to do this. And I will leave a link in the description box for her. Please check her out. Oh my gosh. You can have, if you've ever dreamed about having a blinged out room, but you can't afford the blinger, <laughs> the blinger, um, the same person that Shane Dawson has, absolutely don't feel like you can't have something beautiful like that to your liking. Um, Dollar General, Dollar Tree, some tacky glue, um, and their little gems and stuff. And like, I had to glue down the tape, but I'll tell you what, that's a whole other video, um, for me to show you guys because coming up in the next couple of months, I'm thinking about doing another giveaway with Sin City Soaps and Candles products again. Because I want to share the loveliness with you. <laughs> and put the giveaway stuff in a blinged out tray. Now the two colors that I've chose for the trays. One is a blue tape. A blue glitter tape. Um, and then also styling it up similar to what I've done to the one that I have. And, you know, do that. But I noticed the Dollar General up the price on their wood trays. So I may see if there's the Dollar Tree that I can go to for that. And, um, yeah. But anyway, um, back to this. Our hands do get chapped when we're sewing. Keep some of this nearby. Yeah, that looks like a wrecked mess right now for a reason. I was obviously in my fabric stash and this one right here um, just laying there with this tag on it is from Fabric Mart and it is the deep forest green and I was going to use that for this but I'm going to tell you this fabric right here even though it's pre-lined so this is a pre-lined fabric so when you put it on your person it's not going to be see-through and like I said you know I'm going to roll this under and uh, st stay stitch that and then what I will be using on this is serge stitch I really like the serger stitch. It seems to be my jam lately. Um, and it's just a matter of what threading do I really want to use with this. We'll figure that out. Oh, and another thing is, like I said, I'm not, I'm not mad at McCall's for not having this. I'm just disappointed in you. Uh, I'm not disappointed in Fabric Mart. You guys are lovely. Um, and maybe this all happened for a reason to push me to make my own for a purpose. And to push out, you know, to you guys. Show you more from Char's Fascination. 
how you can take a design concept, change it, and make it your own. Because I'm going to make it so that the skirting is detachable. And I will take you through this process with me. I may just have cutting out the skirting on my Instagram. But I also may upload it here. So don't feel that I'm going to leave bits and pieces out. After this is uploaded, I will load the video that I'm loading on Instagram, which was cutting these pieces out. Oh, look, it's finally done. Um, so yeah, now this is finally on Instagram. And uh, then I can upload that here right after this is uploaded. Um, so that way you get to see me cutting the pieces out and everything, which is great. Uh, I just wanted to share this one with you to show you like how this is going to look after it's pinned together. Let's try not to poke ourselves. So that's what it looks like after it's pinned together for the, where are we at here? This, this always happens, right? <laughs> to someone, oh, here we are. So that you know what that hemline's going to look like. Sort of what that looks like before it's stitched down. Now, all I have to do really is pick a threading that I want to use because you know you're not going to see the threading on the seams. <clears throat> as much as you would on the neck. Now, I do have some fabric mark fabric that I can use with this. Now, if you all know, I did get this from Sam's before they closed, like way before they closed. Um, and like I said, you know, I also need to do my corset. And that's fabric that I got from Fabric Mart. Isn't that lovely? And now that I don't have Sam's fabrics near me, um, it's just very convenient to have Fabric Mart available. And I don't have to leave the house, even though I love to touch the fabric. Don't get me wrong, I love to touch the fabric. Um, the season is a change in, oh, and this is lightweight. I thought this would be heavy. It's actually pretty darn lightweight, and I love that. It's like, oh, this is going to be heavy. And it's not scratchy, which is nice about this lining. It's not scratchy. It might look it, but it's not. Um, so what I will do is make... Uh, I am sitting today. My back hurts from cutting out all that fabric. What I am going to do is mark where I need to put in a um, line. Where I need to put in my pleats. So pleats be uh, with me on the stream. <laughs> sewing joke, you know, pleats. Excuse me, please be with me on the sewing journey for my yellow dress challenging myself. Um, so this will be something that, like I said, the shirt and the skirt half are totally detachable. A design that not really people that people don't really do. Uh, it's time to put something new out there in the world and that's what I want to do with this and accomplish that and show people look you can take your own design from a different concept run that through your head say hey I'm gonna change it up and this is what it's gonna look like to fit my body for my size my shape my shade I tan like Jesus on toast in the summer. <laughs> Have you ever seen the Jesus toast? There's such a thing. And it's, it's 
think it's in a museum somewhere. Anyway, I thought that was funny when I was growing up. Jesus toast. <laughs> oh. Oh, and the other thing, I will be working on my antique singer sewing machine. It's an electric trundle. Um... But I will be working on that this year, so also stay tuned for that. And I don't know what's going on here, but anyway, stay tuned for that as well. And in the meantime, I want you to stay happy, stay healthy, stay positive, and as always, stay blessed. And I so hoping to see you in the next one. Have a blessed Sunday.